Well, we're here at the Wolf Creek Library for a healthcare equity town hall. One of the things that we uh, found out is here in South Fulton County, we have a healthcare desert. And, and more specifically, we have an emergency care desert, right? Because, I mean, with the loss of the two Wellstar hospitals, the biggest thing you miss from a hospital is the emergency care that the hospital provides. But if you're suffering from a heart attack or a stroke, you need treatment immediately. And having a hospital 50 miles away is better than having one 100 miles away, but it doesn't do you any good because the time that you need the response in, that you need the care in, is within that first 10 to 15 minutes. Ever since the hospital closed, it gave me some concern and I wasn't hearing new plans for anything to happen next. So when Commissioner Arrington had his, um, had this event, I was like, okay, maybe something's on the horizon that we just don't know about. It was just outstanding um, because there, there, I learned so much about uh, what South Fulton is doing, what they have done, and, um, and what's coming out in the future. So thankful to have CEO John Halper from Grady Hospital come and speak on the panel, uh, Alicia Ivory from the Grady Board, uh, and the Fulton DeKalb Hospital Authority Board, uh, Dr. Lynn Paxson, uh, Fulton County Board of Health Director, uh, Dr. Pamela Rochelle, uh, Councilwoman Helen Willis, and Councilmember Joshua Butler from East Point. Um, just so thankful to have all of them uh, but, and, and the audience, right? Because a lot of the solutions were not just from the panelists, a lot of the solutions were from uh, the audience. And so um, just thankful to have everyone come out. One of the things that we heard from the community is that while you may have health insurance, if you don't have an access point, it doesn't matter. And so what terrifies most families is that they have to travel a great distance for emergency care. And so we think that having a freestanding emergency room as the first point of care for anyone in the community, regardless of if you have insurance or not, is the right thing to do. And we are so excited that it's actually going to be located in the healthcare desert that we identified in this study.